In this problem, we want to factor it completely. There is no greatest common factor, so what we need to do is count the terms. Since there are two terms, we have um, difference of squares, but it's a sum, so that can't be. So we have sum or difference of cubes. It is a sum, and it does appear to be perfect cubes. So that means if we have a cubed plus b cubed, we can break it down into a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. That means we need to identify a. A will have to be the cube root of x cubed, so that when we cube it, we get x cubed. That means a is x, so that a cubed is x cubed. B is as the same way as the cube root of 8, which means it's 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so B will be 2. So we're ready to substitute it into our factored form, which means wherever there's an A, we put an X, plus wherever there's a B, we put a 2, and then we'll have an A squared, which is X squared, minus X times 2, which is 2X, plus B squared, which is 2 times 2, or 4. So that following this formula, we have x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4, in which case neither of these will be able to be broken down further. You could try factoring this trinomial, but you'll find that nothing else will work, and so therefore this is the completely factored form for this problem.